keep the server IP address for Blink the constant because what would happen is when I turn off my router, turn it on again, or reconnect one of my devices, especially the server, I'd get a new IP address because of DHCP, which would mean my clients would no longer connect to this 0.100. That means I have to make a DHCP reservation to my MAC address to 0.100. So whenever my MAC address connects to the router, it always gives it 0.100. Which would be good. So my all of my other addresses work. Another thing to note is when I was migrating my project from a Blink server to the app to the local server, all of my auth tokens had to be changed, which is really inconvenient. Now I start my server by going to the desktop and running this server.bat script. Just a handy script which launches a server. I think it provides this uh, code echo server that that stuff. Anyway, when you've got this, you can turn on the server, which is good, which means I can connect devices to the server. So let's have a look. I've got the server connected by me, which gives me rollback if I need to. To the connected by me. All right, let's see if it works. All right, there we go, turned on. We have the lights on, that's good. Now the app, I think, needs to be closed and opened again. We're going to connect to the server. So the app doesn't seem to want to work, so let's, let's see what's going on with the server. I go to here, 127. I think that's the only IP address that seems to work. IP address that seems to work. Even my own personal IP address doesn't work. Only 127.0.0.1. And that tells me how many users there are. And there is only one user, which is. Oh, okay. 2147. Yeah, this was the last time the app connected. And it doesn't seem to be connecting anymore. So let's look at the. What sort of stuff we've got? Uh, we should look at the hardware. Yeah, we have one Arduino Zero, which is that cup connected, but I'm not sure why the app isn't connecting anymore. And it thinks the IP address should have been at 1.101, but I have my doubts about that. Ah, yes, yes, make sure the app is on the same Wi Fi. Otherwise, you run into problems. There we go. Now we're in. Okay, so let's try. As you can see, I changed the color from my phone. So when I press that, let's put them together. So there we go. If I can if I press this button here. Now this is running on a local server on my computer. So every command here goes to my computer to the device. That means I've got local security. I'm not running on any network. Also, as you can see, there's no connection to the internet, which is handy at uni, because I can't use the internet there. Because these devices don't connect to enterprise grade Wi-Fi. Just hobby, just uh, web and WPA. So yeah, now I've got that. And the way I did it is I go into here, into the cup. I have to mention the IP address, so yeah, as you can see, the problem would be I need a fixed IP address every single time. Okay, thank you, bye.